What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alex and today I am doing a much requested video that to be honest, I should have done a while ago, okay? I am talking about my current hairstyle and specifically, I wanna teach you guys how to get a man bun or top knot. Now, I don't have a regular man bun, I guess. I have a, I have this undercut man bun. So the reason why I have that, because first of all, because it's really trendy right now and it's just a lot easier to grow it out like this because you can just buzz the sides and it keeps it fresh and it keeps it clean. Now, my hair took about eight to nine months to get to this length just because I had it really short when I started Started growing it uh, and also I cut it every three months just to keep it healthy so I definitely recommend you doing that as well my hair is about nine to ten inches in the front here so it goes from the front all the way to the back so which makes it really easy to just put it in a bun if I want to the sides are buzz I actually buzz them myself so also pretty easy to keep because you can just buzz this yourself if you're trying to grow just the top and then the back is actually pretty short so it's like three to four inches back here because I don't want it to hang down too much in the back. It could take a little while to grow your hair this long but if you want tips then you can just watch this video right here on your screen. Uh, click on it and it's a video on how to grow your hair faster and longer that I did not very long ago. One of my favorite things about this hairstyle is because it's pretty versatile so you can actually wear it back like this, just slick back. You can put it in a bun if you'd like. You can wear it to the side like this. So with this length, it just gives you so many options and variety. That way you're not bored and wearing the same hairstyle day after day. Now let's get to the actual bun, all right? So let's say you just got out of the shower, which I did five minutes ago. You're just gonna wanna use a towel. I don't like to blow dry my hair that much, so I just towel dry most of the time. So what I do is I just dry it back and every movement I make, honestly, is gonna be from the front to the back because I wanna make sure my hair conforms to how it's going to be when I put it up in a bun. So there's nothing in my hair right now, it's just wet from the shower. This is literally all you do with a towel, okay? Just get the excess water out of your hair. Now that your hair is just damp, then you can use a comb or a brush. I'm gonna use a comb to just do this right here and make sure it's nice and slick back. There we go. And then what I'll do is I'll add some product to my hair. I really like this Kevin Murphy Night Rider. Um, it feels really nice. So I'm gonna use this right here. Not too much, right here. This is all you need. Just put it on the palm of your hand like that. Make sure you mix it like this, get it nice and warm, and then just spread it through your hair like that. You really don't need that much, to be honest. It's just to make sure it doesn't move after you put it in the bun. There you go. Try, I try to get a lot in the back here as well, just to make sure it stays in the bun. So pro tip for you guys, get more of the product in the back. Now that you have all of this product in your hair, you just wanna brush it back one more time to make sure it's straight. And then grab your elastic here. I'm gonna use my right hand to just go like this. And I'll show you guys from the side. Make sure you grab the bun back here and I like to put it right over here but some people like it up top a little bit higher. This is how I dig it but it's a personal thing. So I'm gonna loop the elastic once, twice. You just wanna loop it really until you can do it one more last time. And in the last one, what you wanna do is you actually just wanna go halfway. Halfway like that to keep it from being too long and put it in a bun. And you can literally stop here if you want, but what I like to do is I like to add a little bit more product on the top just to get any flyaways or baby hair that you might have uh, and keep them in place. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more product and just slick it back up here just to get anything that I might have missed. It doesn't have to be perfect up here either. So I actually like it when it's got a little bit more volume and more hair kind of sticking out. So that's how I like to wear it. Um, make sure you watch all of my other hair videos as well. And I have fashion videos, fitness videos coming. So subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it and follow me on Instagram. I have a massive giveaway coming to you guys, okay? Thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.